Welcome to the KD Enterprise channel. The best way to support me is to subscribe, so please subscribe. Good day, welcome to the Phantom 4 Advanced or Pro Yaw Arm Replacement video. Things gonna need, of course, a new yaw arm because the camera's been broken off. This is the camera cable. You're going to need one of these. Make sure you find a high quality one. Don't buy a cheap one. You know, some of those sites on the internet or whatever. Be careful about what you buy. Most likely, you're going to need a new yaw arm motor because in many cases, when the yaw, yaw arm breaks, this cable that runs along here gets broken along with it. The cable is not replaceable. You need a new little motor unit. Usually you have to order these from China. It takes about a month. And you're going to need yourself a set of little tools. And let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do, here's the drone and of course the yaw arm's been torn off and whatnot. So basically there is let's see eight screws that need to come out so I'm gonna take these out I'll probably just speed the video up for this gentle and let's get this out of here Uh, basically at this point you're gonna have to get this uh, this is the camera cable here and to get that out you have to undo this board here so there's a little bit of silicone covering this screw here hopefully this isn't gonna be an issue
Okay, so the next thing I need to do, you have to take off this bracket here. Um, it does have this tape stuff on, but you can actually unscrew it like that. Hopefully you can see that. That just gives you access. You can flip this up so that you can pull the cable out. And the other screws, there's four down here. And we have to undo those. Before I move on, uh, to get that cable out, or especially when you go to put the new cable in, uh, you can pull them out, but uh, the proper way to do it, there's a little tab on each of these. This is where that the uh, cable was plugged in there. The big one, the camera cable. Basically, sometimes you can do it with your finger if you can't get in behind this black piece and then you lift it up. Hopefully you saw that they lift up. That way you'll be able to slide the new cable in and once you get the new cable in then you press those down. FYI. Okay yep. next step basically this is the old uh, camera cable so we'll just take that off and just to note that uh, the bracket is on the back right here. We'll take that off and so you kind of can, this is the new motor, so of course it's going to line up like that. Just in case you're wondering. You have the video to look at anyway. Old motor. Um, this is the cable cover, uh, it's like a protector. Mine's all bent. Take that off. Okay, so here's the uh, new motor and, of course, the new yaw arm. So let's get this in place. There's the three markings on here. Remember, the cable goes down the front on the arm. So make sure it should line up with the cable and the one hole at the back here and the other two should line up also. So go ahead, get that lined up. Now we just have to put the bracket back on. There's the two holes there. And there are the little teeny weeny screws here. All right, let's finish up this uh, motor on the uh, yaw arm. All right, uh, if you remember at the start, I like to put my screws on to masking tape. And there was three of them. Okay, so we're finished with this for now. Set it aside. Now let's get on to the, uh, the camera here. This is basically the unit in here that controls the, the motors. It's like a speed controller. So, you know, 
don't bang it around and stuff. So all I'm going to do for the moment here, we're going to flip this up and okay so I disconnected this cable and all I've done at this point uh, I just I'm putting the cover back on here just to keep it safe and just put in one screw we'll come back to this in a bit let's move over to the camera now Try not to touch that stuff there. It's like goopy stuff. Yeah, I just wanna... Unplug that guy. Rotate this up. So anyways, here's the, uh, let's take this tape off for now. Let's set that there. And this will just pop up also. There we go. So now we have to pull out, um, get the cable out of there. And to do that, There we go. So we have the cable off. And I tell you what, I'm gonna go wash my hands. I have that goop on there. Then we'll get to the next step. All right, hands are cleaned up. So let's get back at it. Okay, so get out your uh, camera cable now. And what you wanna do, just bring it in here. Okay, that should just snap in. I'm just trying to be gentle here to find the, the seating point. There, and you can feel it. It just, it's not snapped in yet, but it just, it settled in there nice. Now there's the adhesive on the back here. Let's get that off. Now you see the little white square? That gets stuck, stuck, stuck. That gets, um, that's designed to go right along the edge here. For a sec, I just have to twist this in here. So that should be pressed right down along the edge there.
out. Okay, so at this point, um, let's put this guard back on. back from a break all right everything is as it was here so let's go ahead and get the camera all put together here get the back on which should be pretty easy to do oh sorry we almost dang it that would have been a pain don't forget the little cable that we unhooked make sure to bring it over Okay, and it's seated down in there. Voila! Okay. You might have noticed I put plastic on there just to help prevent it from getting scratched up. So everything's looking okay, so let's move on to the next section. We need to get this broken arm off. But we want to come over to this side. Slides out. So let's set that guy there. Oh, and don't forget to put in the uh, that little little rubber or silicone something little gasket or seal. It just fits in there. Okay, I have to move locations here, but where we left off. Basically we have the uh, speed controller out, we have the uh, yaw arm motor installed, and now it's time to get this old piece off here, the old arm that's broken. So to do that, you just have to take these two screws, there's one on each side. get this motor out so take these three out here carefully insert it through there and then make sure that the threads or the holes line up on the back
Okay, now let's uh, let's attach the yaw arm to the camera here, and sort of this is the orientation. The uh, cable, the camera cable, it's running underneath, and basically you'll end up running along this side here. And this is the yaw arm motor that goes up into the drone, so it should be sitting like that. So let's go ahead. Get this attached. So at this point, we want to start uh, sticking down the cable here. So it comes out of the bottom, it's going to run along here, and when you, there's a back in here, so we'll take that off, and you need to stick this up so it's really in line with everything, it needs to be right up there, perfectly in the corners, hopefully you can see that. So let's go ahead, do the first section here, just take the backing off. The tricky part's coming up, it took me a minute to figure it out. But this is pretty straightforward. As I said, there's a there's a notch right here, so just make sure everything's lined up. I'll try to get this on camera better. Except when it's on camera, I can't see. But, oops. So let's start there. We'll just tack it down a bit. Use the blunt end of your of a screwdriver. Push it in place there. So there we go. So it's all looking good. Now this was the tricky part. This, this piece here, needs to go underneath. And I'm going to try to get in close here. There's a little notch right here. And there's a little notch right there. So I'm going to take the tape off and we're going to put this in place. Okay, so come underneath and it's a little bit tedious sorry my thumb is in the way and that's probably gonna be how it is so so and again the blunt end here so I have that little notch, that little notch is over this little notch, and, let's... and then basically runs up the back like this. So it has freedom of movement. So generally that's how it should look, and let me, not... well, I think it's good. I think it just needs to be pushed into the corner more. Right up here. All right. Let me get set up for the next shot here, and we're almost we're on the home run. I I hope. Okay, so basically. Where we left off, I just took the uh, camera so you can see here. I set it like this. So this is the 
I guess kind of like the motor controller or speed controller for the motors. Um, so this is the top side here. And there's the cable. This is the bottom cable that comes out from this direction. So we need to get this one on. You might not be able to see this, but basically, well, I'll try to angle it here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this camera mounted. Uh, basically, see the two sensor things there? Camera should be facing this way, away from them. I just had a little piece of tape on here. Hold my cable up. So let's get that wrapped around. Oh, there's a little piece of tape on Okay, so let's go ahead and get this camera mounted. Uh, basically, see the two sensor things there? The camera should be facing this way, away from them. I just had a little piece of tape on here. Hold my cable up. Feed the cable up. Well, so that wasn't on camera. Anyways, you're coming up and around. And I want to put the put this cable through here. Pull it up. There we go. A little bit of effort to get it up in there. it needs to go underneath this plate here there we go so let's get a few screws get this held in place
just a matter of lining up the uh, screw holes at this point which is a little bit tricky but we'll get it there I think I have a couple there these are just I believe Phillips try to get one started all right good stuff I need I need more hands some other two screws here Okay, have those in. I'm just going to tighten them up now a little bit. Now, all we need to accomplish, well, a couple things, but let's get this main, main cable in here. this guy here okay this one popped out a bit oops all right Okay, so those are down. All right, we made progress. Next thing, let's get this thing down. I put some tape on it so it didn't flop all over the place. Okay, so yeah, it goes this way. There's a little wee micro switch right there. So we'll get that lined up. It should probably be easier just to take this out. 
put my little screws in here. flew out but that's okay get this one in okay it's lined up on the switch so that's good in fact I could even test that see if it works Works good. Uh, one more little screw here. Actually, hang on. Let me tighten these down. Remember, I I lost the screw for there. And I think this screw might fit in there, and it seems pretty secure. Let's tighten this down. The board, the board is secure. <laughs> oh dear. I had a little bit of trouble getting this uh, cap on. But uh, make sure the camera's pointed like this. And then you can get your screwdriver in there. And being a new gimbal arm, these screws just did not want to start properly but uh, takes a little bit of work go get them in there
spoken to the KD Enterprise channel. The best way to support me is to subscribe, so please subscribe.